Hi guys, I'm Beth Joey and welcome to my YouTube channel. This channel has evolved from true crime to history and now to booktube and I think I finally landed on an idea that I really want to go forward with and really want to make videos about. So, you know, if you couldn't already tell from my Instagram, from my Instagram, if you come here from there, then books are something I'm really passionate about and I really want to, you know, experience the booktube community and, you know, keep up to date with all the different books going on. So. I'm going to work with you guys to do that on here. Um, as all booktubers do, I think, when they first start on the channel, at least lately, is the booktube newbie tag. So without further ado, question number one. So why did I start this channel? I started this channel because there are some topics in the world, just generally, that I really find really, really interesting and I wanted to talk to people about. Um, the people in my life uh, are lovely, lovely humans, but unfortunately are not hugely interested in the things that I'm interested in, that being true crime history and books. I have a very, very sporty family and a very, very smart but very math-focused boyfriend. So it's, um, it's not something that I get to talk about frequently. So I started the booktube channel so that I could meet like-minded people and so that I could put some of my thoughts and some of my, you know, feelings, emotions, frustrations, everything like that with characters and books and plots and authors and everything out there into the world and see if anybody feels the same or feels differently or is able to convince me differently because obviously everybody goes in with their own biases and their own perspectives and I think it's important to really be opened up to lots of different things. Question number two. What are some fun and unique things you can bring to booktube? Um, well, I like to think I am a fun and unique person, so I bring myself to booktube. But to remove some ego, I guess, from that answer, um, I'm an Australian living in London, uh, so I think that offers me a really unique perspective on certain books in certain titles. Um, I've, I've led a fairly interesting life, I think, in terms of travel, so I can sort of identify with some characters um, and I can you know relate to a lot of the places they bring up in their books and I think I would really really bring an interesting voice to the community being an Australian living in London uh, in the freezing cold by the way um, so yeah that is something unique that I think I can bring question number three what are you most excited about for this new channel if you couldn't already tell, uh, meeting people, <laughs> it's um, it's very, very cool. I think that this whole community can be created online, especially in lockdown, especially in these crazy, crazy times. So I think it's just, you know, I'm just excited to meet some like minded people, awesome people who think very differently to me. So, um, yeah, that's what I'm excited about. Question number four. Why do you love reading? I don't know if I can answer this question. I, it's just because I do. It's it's something that has always been like an, an escape, I think, which is the most stereotypical answer in the world. It's been like an escape for me, like my entire life. Um, I've always lived in a very sporty uh, family. Um, I've always been sort of the academic kid. I never really got into the sport so um, I would sort of just sit on the sidelines with my book or my audiobook um, later on in life. Um, so I just love reading because it's something that I've always done because what was normal in my family wasn't something I was very good at. So yeah. Question number five. What got you into reading? I would have to say what got me into reading were two books uh, when I was little. Um, my great uncles on my mum's side used to read the Winnie the Pooh books to, or the big Winnie the Pooh book to me. Um, and I used to love that. So, you know, I was always read to from an early age and I got really, really engrossed in the whole world that is reading. And then the second reason is I used to read the uh, Wishing Chair and uh, the Magic Faraway Tree books when I was a kid and I just thought they were so magical and so cool and you know the layout of that family was very similar to my own in that um, there was you know the older brother and the two younger sisters and that was that was exactly what my siblings you know were and I thought you know that's so cool I can identify with these magical people and maybe this will happen to me because I have an older brother and I'm you know one of two sisters so um yeah, it's just those those two books, those sort of magical, magical worlds got me really, really hooked on reading. Question number six. What questions would you ask your favourite booktubers? Um, 
how do you do it? <laughs> how do you stay on top of all the new releases? Um, how do you stay committed to creating new content? And how do you like think of all these new content and all this new content and all these new tags and stuff that you've come up with? Um, I really, really want to know like what's your what's your thought process behind all of this? How do you stay so creative? And and how do you pull yourself out of those reading ruts where you know you've read eight books in a month and then you're like oh my god I could not read another page even if I tried you know how do you pull yourself out of that do you go back to an old book that you know you love or do you just kind of give yourself a minute have a cup of tea and then move on I guess it's just lots of how do you how do you manage it how do you keep creating new stuff because I would love to keep my channel going for a really long time and, and how do you build a following as well I think is the, my my biggest question question number seven what challenges do you think will be the biggest to overcome when creating a booktube channel? I think you can relate a lot of the challenges back to the questions that I would ask my book, uh, my favorite booktubers, which is just, you know, creating new content, keeping things interesting, um, and coming up with all these new ideas every day or every week, depending on how frequently, you know, the videos come out. Um, how do you, you know, staying on top of the book world and all that sort of stuff. So um, I think I think all the, all of those sorts of things are massive challenges when when creating any YouTube channel, um, booktube or otherwise. So um, I'm I'm gonna fight <laughs> so hard to make sure I can overcome those. But um, yeah, fingers crossed. Question number eight: When did you start reading? I have no idea. I could not tell you um, the age that a child can read. Um, I think is the age that I started reading that I became really obsessed with it. Um, I remember started starting to like frantically, you know, take in books as much as I could was probably when I was in like grade seven. I just started at a new school. I just made a bunch of new friends and right around that time Twilight became a thing and my friends were obsessed with Twilight. One of my friends um, actually made me call her Rosalie for a period of time and because my name is Beth everybody called me Bella and because I was super clumsy as well. So um, I guess <laughs> embarrassingly you know everybody says Harry Potter is what got them into reading for me. It was Twilight um, and then I did read Harry Potter before that but I, I wasn't really able to get hugely into it for some reason and then I revisited it later on and got obsessed, as I think everybody else did. Um, I will say I do not support J.K. Rowling, but I did love the Harry Potter books. Question number nine. Where do you read? Well, you're looking at it. This is my room. Um, I read in my bedroom uh, on my bed with my lovely hot water bottle um, just resting on my, my stomach, on my, on my chest or anything just to keep me warm because it is freezing in London at the moment and being from Queensland I am not used to this kind of weather um so yeah I read in my bedroom wherever is is comfiest um it, or if my boyfriend's not home I'll read it on the couch because he'll usually be like watching a movie or gaming or something with his friends so um yeah if he's not home I'll read on the couch um or with my puppy on the floor <laughs> if she's feeling like cuddles then um I'll sit on the floor with her and um and give her cuddles while I read my book Question number 10. Last question. So what kind of books do you like to read? Um, I would have to say my sort of guilty pleasure for books would have to be romance. I love a good romance novel. My favorite series is a romance series. It's um, the, it's uh, sort of lesser known, um, just perfect, uh, almost perfect and too perfect series by Julie Ordelon. Um, it's, it just, it's so good. It's so, so like cheesy and every trope in the world when it comes to romance, but it's so good. Um, I also love fantasy. I've recently got hooked on Sarah J Maas. Um, apologies if I pronounce that wrong. I also love um, more contemporary fiction. So things that you would have read if, you know, you were in high school so recently. I read uh, The Crucible, which is just here. Um, I recently read The Handmaid's Tale. Um, so those sorts of things, I love those. Um, I recently read Picnic at Hanging Rock, so I'm getting on a big um, Aussie author's kick. Sort of a little shout out to my home and a um, little homesickness, I think, triggered that one. Um, yeah, just lots of different sorts of things. I'm, I'm less of a genre person, more of a book person. So like, 
I, I don't like specific genres. I'm more like, oh, I like this book from this genre and this book from this one and this one from this one. Um, but then you could suggest to me a book that's very similar to another book that I've read and it's from the same genre, but I'll hate it because it's just not that book. <laughs> um, so yeah, can't wait to meet you all. So if you'd like to see more of my content, uh, hit the like button, you know, let me know you like this video, um, subscribe to my channel, hit the notifications button so you can um, be notified when I release new content. Um, until then, I will see you later.